Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my full weather radio collection, as of, what is today? It is, um, uh, February 5th, 2021, I don't know why it says 2022, and, uh, I don't know if the clock's right, let's see, it's 9.02 p.m., um, yeah, that clock is right, the date's not right, though. And we're going to take a look at my full weather radio collection today. So, let's get started. So, I have two new additions that I've made today. So, we'll get to those in a few moments here. So, I want to start over here with my Recom R-1630B. We had a weekly test two days ago and it hasn't been reset since then, so it still has that tone. Beverages. It's sensitive when it, recons are very sensitive radios, so when I like bring something close to them, they're gonna get kind of you know um, annoyed by it. And then right here is my recom R 1630A. Also with the RWT. Cold with lows around 10 above. The heck? Oh, it has a glitch. Wednesday. This thing might be on the way out, I'm not sure, but, um, this was given to me by Benicio, the producer, or Central Ohio Sirens, so, uh, thank you to him for that. Bubble wrap, get out of the way. And then, let's get to over here, so let's start right here on my Midland WR20EZ. I'm gonna get to the newest editions last. And over here is my... Version 2 Midland WR100. It's a pretty statement light. Or demonstrated the WR120 here. There we go. Uh, the version 2 does not have alert test on it. And right here we have, we have my black Alertworks CAR10. And then right here we have my version 15 Midland HA54VP. And coming over here, this is um, one of our new additions, and this is a Recom R 1630C, 1650C. Reason why I ordered it is because it wanted, it wanted to be disguised as a 1650A. Because this is a 1650A box, but I actually, in reality, got a 1650C. Where is the manual? Uh, here it is, right here. That's where all my manuals go. Um, so yeah, here it is. Cooler with lows 10 to 15. It likes to scream, so I don't know if it's working. Pulse an hour. It's without the dog values as... Yeah, there you go. Um, now, do an alert test. We gotta do it. Yeah, there you go. And then right here is my, this is another new addition. This is my Midland WR11. Partly cloudy. A chance of snow It's in reception. Cold with hot. Gets a bit fuzzy at points. Night. Partly cloudy. Lows around 10 above. So I believe this is a non-same radio. Now, let's get to just scanner slash EAS equipment. Oh, also, I forgot to show you guys these. This is my Eaton Zone Guard Plus. I don't have an AC adapter for it, so it's just sitting there kind of with batteries in it. This is my broken WR20EZ. And then down there is my broken Radio Shack 12-250 that my grandma gave me about two years ago. Sadly broke it. <laughs> Right here is my Trilithic Easy Plus decoder only. Uh, this was originally a version 5.20, and it used to be an encoder slash decoder. But I forgot to save the uh, save the configuration 
before upgrading to 8.09. So that's how it met its decoder only fate, and it's currently not being used. That was given to me by EAS Ohio at the spare unit, so yeah, a huge thank you to him. But coming in here, monitoring WDFA, we have my Sage 1822 EAS and deck. Uh, printer's currently not working. I fried it. Um, yeah, that's the story. Uh, it's in a weekly test. And now, before any of you yell at me, I know that headphone jack right there is loose, but it's like that on purpose, but because for some reason, it, the audio comes through louder that way, and it's still very quiet, so it's barely able to decode alerts right now, because I have a slightly mangled cable, which is resulting in quiet audio, so, yeah, that's why that's happening. And now, why don't we go take a look at Drew's weather radius real quick. Um, oh, that's my mic for my Sage in the... WR11 box. This WR11 was used, had leaking batteries in it. Let's head into Drew's room over here. And here is his um, H H H4. Ow! What the heck? Here's his H H H4 VP version 16. And this is his version 5 WR100, which heavily broke recently. Doesn't decode alerts anymore. Here's this Midland W120 Easy. The temperature was. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty much everything. This is the cover for the H54. Has no belt clip or snap for the cover. But yeah, uh, there's my complete weather radio collection, excluding Drew's radios, obviously. Um, those aren't mine. Oh, I also have a uh, two Midland Extra Talks. They're in the car right now. Uh, they have weather alert on them. All right, here's by BC170 um, uh, scanner. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.